Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, what? Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Okay, this is not how I expected to start things, but we're here. Guys, welcome, we're at a stadium. I don't know what we're doing, but there's Pokemon involved. And I like this guy's tie. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature, beautiful cities, and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. <gasps> a little Ellie Pokemon? It's so freaking cute! What is this? Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. Well, to be fair, dude, like, what else would there be? It'd just be plants and humans without Pokemon. They're part of our ecosystem, and that's what I love about it. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete? We call Pokemon Trainers. Okay, I love, like, his look. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please, allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of Giovanni, but like even more stylish. I hope he's not evil. I don't think he is. He's got nice eyes. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. <gasps> His name is Rose? Okay, I already love him. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's exa exhibition match. Oh, look at this flair for the drama. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is he wearing? Oh my gosh. Oh, cool, Charizard. What is he wearing? Whatever it is, it's clearly his signature move and people are pretty pumped about this. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end. You know I don't lose battles, Ryan. Charizard, Dynamax! Oh, oh what? How is this safe? How is this safe? <gasps> Here we go. All right, guys, welcome <gasps> to Pokemon Sword. Okay, I'm in love. Three minutes in and I'm in love. I don't need I don't need anything else. I just want to live in that cottage with the adorable little sheep sheep Pokemon. The end. I don't even know its name yet because I've been avoiding spoilers to the point of living under our little like onyx rock to be a hermit. <gasps> is that me? That's me! Oh my gosh, the outfit is so freaking cute. My house is cute. It has literally got plants. And look at that top right. <laughs> I have pictures of plants. This is legitimately my house. This is amazing. It even has living plants in the background that I'm pretty sure is not a pseudo wood. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, look at that little fluffy fluff bucket. I just want to snuggle him. I, I want a whole flock of those little woolly sheep sheep Pokemon. Oh, is that your new flash phone, Siri? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Oh, look at her cute little Wellington outfits. That's my mom. That's my mom. She's not mom. She's mom. That is my my, my, my mom. Okay, I love her. I love mom. I love Rose. I love the woolly guy. Like, everything is perfect about this. And this is so beyond charming already. All right. Hop. Didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Siri. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. <gasps> what? His brother is like the world famous Pokemon champion? Undefeated? Talk about a legacy to try to live up to. Come with me, Siri. He should be here any minute. Oh, I guess, is that an old match then? Or is it live? And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. <laughs> okay, somebody's older brother at least spoils him. And I wonder what kind of poke bed that is in the background. Oh my gosh, I love this house. 
Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Oh, this is so precious. Oh my gosh, this is precious. Okay, everything about this is so cute. Can I look at everything? It's a fireplace that's built into the house. It keeps things warm in the harshest winter. <gasps> I wonder what the weather... <gasps> the weather! I just remembered there's going to be weather. And look at my cute little dress. All right, guys. Well, welcome. Welcome to our adventures here in Pokemon Sword and Shield. We are playing the Shield version this time because I've heard that there is a certain exclusive Pokemon that I absolutely desperately want to have. You're welcome to guess exactly who he is. You know, it's kind of obvious. He uses... A literal plant for a weapon, which I think is just amazing. But we'll talk more about that later. For now, oh, do I do I get this tea? Oh my gosh, that's such a cute little cup of tea. Let's see. Munchlax leaves leftovers around its bed from time to time. <gasps> my mom has a Munchlax. Speaking of which, I want to go talk to my mom. There are lots of books and magazines about Pokemon neatly lined up. Oh, that's cute. <gasps> Munchlax, buddy. Um, um, gum, um, gum. Oh, what a cute little thing for him to say. Oh, he's taking a little snooze. All right, lots of books about Pokemon neatly lined up. Maybe we're naturalists, of course. It's the television that mom uses to watch her comedy dramas. All right, so it sounds like... Okay, where's my bag, I wonder, then? If I'm gonna grab it. Maybe I already have it with me? No, I don't think I do. Yeah, don't think I have my bag with me. All right, let's see if we can find the bag that he was talking about. Maybe Mum has it. Mum! Rushing off in that state, Siri? Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I last saw it in your room. And don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. Oh, Mum! We have such a cute house! Oh my gosh, Mum! Munchlax will come to eat any leftover food, so the sink is sparkling clean. <laughs> Oh, Munchlax. I would name him, like, Compost, maybe. Except something a little cuter than that. It's a state-of-the-art microwave that Mum insisted on buying. Apparently, we have a really good life with our with our Mum. Probably no dad, yet again. The fridge is filled with food your family likes. How many people are in my family, I wonder? Alright, let's go ahead. <gasps> is this my room? Oh, my cute little pom-pom hat! What a cute little room I have! Look at this little Eevee tail over here! <gasps> Look at that really cool Pokemon decoration with Pokeballs and beads. That's so adorable. What? Apparently I really like Eevee. It's a plush of the Pokemon Eevee. It's super soft to the touch. The latest video game console is sitting by the telly. The telly? The telly? They actually are really going even with the lingo of being kind of in a European setting. This is adorable. It's a simple desk that you can keep using even when you become an adult. How effective. All right, let's see, Any anything hidden over here? It's the bed you went to buy as a family. It's super comfy and puts you to sleep instantly. Okay, that's adorable. All right, we even have a little radiator, which I don't think I've ever seen. Uh, you grabbed your mom's old bag. Oh, that's so cute. I don't think I've ever seen a radiator in the previous Pokemon. Oh, my little fluffy hat. Maybe we made it from the wool from that adorable willow. All right, so adventure guide. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Save town map. You can check this adventure guide anytime you want in the key item section of your bag. Well, excellent. And now we have my cute little bag. It's Mum's old bag. She packed it with some potions. Oh, we can find treasures! Yes, I love treasure finding. We have a little fishing rod. Use it by the water to fish up various kinds of Pokemon. And a cute little adventure guide. A compact device that automatically collects and records a device when a trainer is out on an adventure. We even have some money! Oh, thanks, Mom! All right, let's head out. I don't even want to... Oh, Mom, I got it. Oh, don't you look a treat. I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going into the forest for the two of you. What? Why? I love plants. All right, let's head out. <gasps> Hop is waiting for you. Better head outside. I... <gasps> Mum, you're the best gardener ever. Oh. Oh, this may be my favorite house I've ever been in in Poco. <gasps> Okay, Mum 
You are officially amazing. Look at our home. Look at the way the sun is out. Look at the way we walked. Oh, there's a butterfly. Buttery, oh, oh my gosh. I just can't be on this. This is too amazing. <laughs> Have a look at you, Siri. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. <laughs> Thanks, Hop. Look at you! A Wulo, but what's it doing there? Where are you going, little fluff bucket? Well, Hey, you silly Wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbery weld. Oh. Wooloo. Now that that's taken care of. How about it, Siri? Let's race. I bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging around that big old bag. Hey. Hey. Oh my gosh, look at the way the Willow's following him! That was so cute! Are you are you gonna be okay? Okay, I think the Willow will be okay. <gasps> More Willow! Oh, they're so precious! He's gonna beat me in the race anyway, and I can't stop looking at everybody. Welcome to the town of Postwick. A farming town since days of old, where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. Okay. Okay, this is beautiful. You guys, welcome to this gorgeous world. Good morning! The power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? That does sound amazing. Hey, look at this kid! <laughs> hey, Aziri. Hop was looking for you, you know. But no need to go to the next town to find him when he lives right next door, right? Oh, so I think that means Hop lives, like, literally right here. That would make sense. What a cute house his family has. Oh. Look, there's Hop's brother. Lee, I think his name was. Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you've brought along Siri. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Haven't you got him crammed up in the cupboard? He's still not here yet, for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's probably for the best. You've got to come with, Siri. You've still never met my big bro, right? How could that happen when we grew up side by side? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out in the route. <gasps> oh my gosh, these houses are so freaking cute. I can't believe this. What do they feed all it and everybody has plants? I love this town. <gasps> Look at her little basket full of veggies up on that shelf. Ma'am, I highly approve of your, your mums that you have. Like, you're a mum and you have mums here. Or actually, those look like zinnias on your table. Highly approve. I love it. And go with Hop to pick up Leon, won't you, Siri? I know you're the reliable sort. I'll have everything ready for a barbecue in the garden by the time you all get back. Oh, that sounds precious. Oh, you guys. <gasps> you guys! Look at this precious little one! Oh my gosh, look at all of his trophies! Do you see this? This is what the house of a champion looks like. Oh, is that his dad? His granddad? To hop, his brother is a superhero. Well, very nice to see you. I didn't mean- I'm just super impressed by all of this. All these trophies belong to the champion. Holy cow, there are books about the champion. Look at all the things that he's got! Wow! This is what it looks like if you live with a Pokemon champion then. That's so cool. Alright, alright, can I sneak up here? <gasps> I can! Okay, well so totally- Oh, there's another- Grandma? Leon is so busy, he hardly comes home. But I would like to keep his room nice and tidy. Whoa! This must be Leon's room. He really, really, really likes hats. We, we could be buddies. I like my hat too. He doesn't have any pom-pom hats. We can fix that. I'll grab the nearest willow and we'll knit something. All right, there's a collection of various, I'd say there's a collection of various caps. Also, geez, I run like the wind. <gasps> hey, this must be my friend Hop's bed. Like room, his whole bedroom. 
This is pretty cool. I wonder what Hop's really into. And I love the botanical paintings that are on all the walls. Okay, I have to say, guys, immediately, the charm, the way that this just has such an aura of a new realm, a whole new world, it's so enchanting. Look at the rolling hills where we've got the farming, just the scenery, all of it. I love this. I think that the Galar region is going to be a stunning and amazing new place to explore. So let's do this with the big old bag. Uh-oh. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Siri, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Willow with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Siri, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. All right. So avoid the tall grass, huh? Oh, Route 1! Oh my gosh, even the signs are so cute! I really want to go get that Pokeball. No wandering into that tall grass for you if you've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. What? <laughs> he even is calling me mate, that's so funny. Let's go and meet Lee at the station. It's dead ahead from here. Oh, this is so cute! Look at this big giant bag we have. I love Mum's old bag. So this is Wedgehurst, huh? That is a small Charizard. He's got a cap. I guess that's his signature pose, huh? <laughs> Look at everybody. I wonder what Charizard thinks about that. Hello, hello, Wedgehorse. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for all of you to watch. It's our unbeatable champion. Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. Look at the little kids doing the little move. This is precious. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you taught us, Lee. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be just as strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. But I wonder if Charizard is like discreetly like flapping his wings a little bit to get that convenient breeze going for that cloak. That is so funny. Oh, Charizard, look at you, buddy. Lee! Hop! Oh good, so he does notice his little brother. So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since I saw you last. Oh my gosh, okay, if he can't find his way home from here, Leon must be really bad with directions. It's legitimately just one direction up a hill. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that keeps you undefeated for so long, eh, Lee? An inch and a quarter, he actually grew that much, huh? And these bright eyes over here. I've got it, you must be Siri, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion, and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee, and you, Siri. I bet I can beat both of you back home. That hop, always wanting to be the best, isn't he? Well, whose fault do you think that is? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. What? Are those sponsorships on the back of his cloak? <laughs> He's like a walking NASCAR. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. That's hilarious. And now he's running off after his brother. What a cute little train station! What a cute little house! Come on, Lee. You've promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Siri and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone.
Take a good look, you two. <gasps> the grass type Pokemon, Grookey. The fire type Pokemon, Scorbunny. And the water type Pokemon, Sobble. <gasps> look at them go! <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> look, he's got little tiny ember footsteps! Oh, Sobble, you're so cute! Grookey, you found some- Oh, look at him tap his little fruit. Oh my gosh, that Sobble. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh, Sobble. Oh, he started crying. He started it by spraying the other guy with water, though. All right, everyone, line up. Look at him go. Which will you choose? This is so special. We're giving, we're getting a Pokemon from the literal champion. This is so perfect, you guys. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo after all. Hop, you're such a good guy. He's letting us pick first. Look at all of them. There's a little Grookey. Let's get a good look at him. Hi, Grookey. The grass type Pokemon Grookey, eh? It's soothing, like a nice long walk in the woods. Hmm, the grass type Pokemon Grookey, is it? Well, no, not quite yet. Not quite yet. I want to look at everyone. It's natural to want to consider your options, though going with your instincts is fine as well. You choose your dear partner however you like. Leon's like a really nice guy, isn't he? A little bit sure of himself, but that's fine. Square Bunny is a fire type. It's filled to bursting with fiery passion. You're set on the fire type Pokemon, Square Bunny? I keep looking. I want to keep looking. Okay, okay. So, Grookey seems adorable and sweet, and he's like a relaxing walk in the forest. Scorbunny definitely has some energy and seems pretty adorable. And then what's the little Sobble doing down here? That's the water type Sobble. It adapts to anything as surely as water flows. Going with the water type Pokemon Sobble. Oh boy. Okay, you guys. I think it's going to be pretty obvious by now which one I have picked, but they're all so wonderful! Each one has their own perks, and I loved watching them play with each other. But I think knowing what I know about Sobble and how he apparently has the name Sobble because he's a sad little Pokemon and he needs some confidence, I have to I have to take him under wing. Grookey seems like he has, you know, a lot of things under control, an adventurous spirit that can handle surprises. Score Bunny seems like he's definitely a team player and he's ready for somebody who's really going to be into competition. And Sobble adapts to anything, huh? Well, I don't really know who or what I want to be in this world yet. And Sobble's so cute. Look at him. He just looks like he needs a friend, doesn't he? So we're going to go ahead and pick him. You chose Sobble. Mm, he's so cute! Okay, I'm okay without giving him a nickname for right now. Because I don't know anything about him just yet. Is it a girl? Is it a boy? <gasps> That's so precious! So, it'll be Sobble for you? Nice one. Then I'll go with Score Money. You're mine! I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Yeah, that's exactly the kind of personality that he needed to be guided by, I think. That's so cute! I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokémon for you and Siri. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together. To try to reach me. Grookey! Grookey? And you'll come with me! Okay, I think that's a great future for Grookey as well, because Leon, he's really kind and he's into a lot of things, and people will give him all of the free fruit he could possibly want. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. Good, it seems like that's good for Grookey. Alright everyone, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokémon and let's all eat. <laughs> I love how Leon is just child. Come eat. Make room for- Oh, look at the cute little barbecue we're having together! Oh, this is adorable! What a great way to get started on our adventure together, guys! I love this! 
And I have little Samo with me now. This is fantastic. Oh, wow. You spent the whole night with that new partners of your that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting along all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even building up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Ceres made fast friends with her Sobble, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday, you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at her for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. If you think Siri might be able to challenge you, then I guess she's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to her and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if she's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Um, yes? <laughs> oh, but alright guys, we've had a beautiful introduction to the world. I have to say I am beyond charmed. Everything has so much personality. I I love this and I want to know so much more about our Sobble. I really think that he was the best pick out of all of those three for this journey because I don't know what I want to be yet. I don't know what this world really has to offer yet. It seems really pitched around battle, but I wonder if there's something else that we might find to be able to do. Perhaps something with camping or curry or discovering T-type Pokemon hiding away inside of abandoned hotels and old mansions. Hmm. There are many adventures awaiting us ahead, so if you guys would like to join, do please consider subscribing. But until next time, my friends, stay curious and let me know what do you think about this beautiful world of Galar region so far. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye!